In mesh modeling terminology, two terms are often used to refer to the structure of a mesh. Geometry and topology. The geometry of the mesh refers to the location of the vertices. Modifiers and transformations use this information to generate new mesh geometry, altering the mesh size, shape, or location. The topology of the mesh refers to how edges and faces connect the vertices. Topology is often more important than it looks. It is possible for two 3D objects that appear the same to have different underlying topological structures to their meshes. The different topologies may not matter if the mesh does not deform, but different topologies can affect the outcome for spring particle simulation-based form finding. Topological sensitivity is critical when converting a surface or poly surface to mesh. There are two methods of doing this. The first one requires the mesh B reps component. The mesh B reps component takes two inputs the NURBS geometry input and the settings controlling the mesh's topology. Take this example, where we use 3B reps as input geometry. Use the settings custom component to define the topological constraints. The settings offer 10 different control parameters, out of which the most useful ones are minimum edge and maximum edge, which defines the range for length dimension of target faces. Reducing the range increases the number of faces, and increasing the range reduces the number of faces. Remaining inputs can be used under specific conditions, but that's beyond the scope for now. Output from the mesh B reps component results in three meshes, each representing an input B reps. Try joining these meshes using the mesh join component. If we test the quality of this mesh using the mesh edges component, we can notice that some of the internal edges are highlighted as naked edges. Zooming into the model, notice the vertices at these false naked edges. The vertices belonging to two separate B reps do not coincide. This creates an unwanted seam in the mesh when two meshes are joined. To avoid this issue, either ensure that these vertices are coincidental or join the B reps before converting into a mesh. Notice how joining the B reps before the mesh B reps command results in a single mesh, without any false naked edges. Also, read the description of the resulting mesh, which has a lesser vertices count than the previous output. The other method of converting a B reps into a mesh is simple mesh. Simple mesh converts a B reps into a simple quad and triangular mesh approximation. If a B reps has quad surfaces or triangles, the component converts it into a mesh with the same quads and triangles as mesh faces. This method is handy when a like for like replication of B reps topology into mesh is essential. However, there are limitations to this method. Take this example, wherein B reps consisting of unusual trimmed surfaces that cannot be rationalized into simple quads or triangles are not processed and results in an error. 